Hello friends. Through this video, I want to speak to you about the importance of our diet in aggravating or preventing the progression of prostate cancer. It is a very common question by the attendants of the patients who suffer from either BPH or cancer prostate. They are always curious to find from me what should their patient eat and what should not. So through this video, I'll share with you some of my information about various common dietary substances that we consume in our day-to-day -day life. First of all, I'll speak to you about the value of various vegetables in our diet. The foremost vegetable to be consumed by uh, a patient of prostate cancer or BPH is tomato. Tomato is very rich in lycopene and lycopene is an antioxidant which has been found to suppress the proliferation of prostate cancer cells. If you want to increase the yield of lycopene from tomato, the best way is to boil the tomato. So you should take hot tomato, not the fresh cut or not uh, in salad. So from the point of view of prostate cancer, it's good to take hot soup or sauces or boiled tomato. So that is one thing. The second vegetable that is important is an allium vegetable, which is garlic. Garlic is known to mankind from many, many ages. It's extremely useful for your cardiac status. But from the perspective of prostate disease, it has been found out that there is some organophosphorus in garlic, which prevents prostate cell proliferation. In order to improve the percentage of organophosphorus in garlic, if you store the garlic for a few months at some place, it has been found that it becomes more useful. You should not fry the garlic in your vegetables, in your food. The better is to cut into smaller pieces. Either chew it or if you can't chew it because of the taste, you can make a paste of this and then use the paste of garlic. The third vegetable that should be the part of your food is uh, what is called cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables means broccoli or uh, cabbage and things like that. They are very useful. So if you see vegetable wise, please focus on these three vegetables, tomato, garlic and cruciferous vegetables. The second component of a diet is the fruit. Here I want to say that first of all you should consume as fresh fruit as possible. You don't use fruit stored in the refrigerator. Uh, have fresh fruits and then select the colored fruits. The colored fruits have very high dose of antioxidants in them, the flavonoids in them which are very useful for prostate cancer prevention. The typical example is uh, yellow papaya or red uh, watermelon, mango. They are very useful fruits. You can also take dale, dale fruit. This is grown typically in India and Sri Lanka and Southeast Asia. And uh, it is also known as uh, golden apple, also known as stone apple, wood apple, Japanese orange, various names for it. The bale is the fruit typical to our country and it has extreme rich concentration of carotenoids in it, which are useful for prevention of cancer in general. One more point about the fruit intake, don't add up the fruits with your meal. When you take lunch or you take dinner, don't eat fruit in the end of the meal or mix it with the meal. It is a good idea to separate the intake of fruits from a major meal. You can take it in between the lunch and dinner or breakfast and lunch and that time you should take nothing else except the fruit. If you do this, the absorption of antioxidants, the absorption of uh, flavonoids, 
the adoption of phytochemicals on the fruit is better. The third thing in your diet is about the kind of dry fruits that you may like to take. Dry fruits in general are very rich in fats, also in protein. From the perspective of prostate cancer, the fat in them is not good. The only dry fruit that I can think of useful is walnut. The shape of walnut is like prostate. So nature has made it looking similar to prostate, probably with the intention that you consume this for prevention of prostate cancer. The another constituent of your diet is the seeds that we take. So two seeds merit mention here. First is flax seed. Flax seeds is extremely, extremely useful because it's uh, the oil in it contains omega-3 fatty acids which is extremely useful for prevention of prostate cancer. Uh, here you should know that either you should take just like that, just consume flax seeds like that, chew them with the breakfast or with whatever food. You can add up flax seeds in various parts of your salad and uh, wherever you want, you can just mix them. Or if you want to make a powder of the flax, you can do so. But then don't heat up the flax seeds. If you heat up the flax seeds beyond a temperature, then the oil will be destroyed, the nutrient value will go down and it is no more useful. So take flax seeds regularly in your diet. The second type of seed is soya seeds. A soya seed is extremely, extremely useful for prevention of prostate cancer. And you can take it today in various forms. Soya powder can be added up in your rotis. Soya uh, can be converted to something like called tofu. You can make it kind of soya milk. And there are various ways you can soak up soya seeds and just consume them fresh, sprouts. So there are various ways. Uh, you have to develop taste for soya and then consume it daily. So friends, some specific vegetables, some specific fruits, some specific dry fruits, some specific seeds. If you increase the quantity in your meal, you are better off. You must have noticed that so far I am talking to you about only vegetarian constituents of your diet. That's precisely my point. If you want to prevent the progression of prostate cancer or DPH, you have to become vegetarian. You have to give away your taste for non-vegetarian food, particularly red meat, particularly beef, particularly mutton, now, and more particularly if you have processed these uh, meats or if you have fried those meats too often, then they become more and more carcinogenic. So in general, say no to non-vegetarian food. If you are too fond of it, you can take fish. So select a fish which is grown in fresh water. Fish. And don't roast, don't fry the fish. You can take a fish semi-boiled or with as little fat as possible. Another thing in our diet is our drink. Some people are very fond of consuming milk. And particularly milk rich in fat. So that's not a good thing to have for prostate cancer patients. You can take a small amount of milk a day, but don't take too many dairy products in your food. The dairy products are rich in saturated fats. The drink you should take, which I would recommend to you, is green tea. Green tea is rich in polyphenols and many other substances which prevent proliferation of cancer prostate cells. So, in general, if you change your dietary pattern a bit, you can definitely retard the progression of prostate cancer. Those people who are overweight, those people who lead a sluggish lifestyle, and if they develop prostate cancer, it has been seen that cancer progresses very fast and they develop high-grade cancer. So you should cut down your weight and you should be exercising daily or walking daily. And there are enough studies on it. Those who walk daily, those who exercise daily, those who maintain their weight in normal range, they do not get very aggressive prostate cancer. So friends, there is a huge point in looking into your lifestyle and into your diet. And if you follow some of these advices that I just mentioned to you, uh, you will be better off. So thank you very much for your time.